Hello everyone, Aubrey here and welcome back to the second part of my Tudor Mansion build. Um, it's been a while since I uh, I posted the first part and I've been... I, I have had some problems um, in my personal life and with my work and stuff like that but it's all over now and I'm ready to just fully commit to YouTube again. Um, so yeah, in this part of the two dimension build we are actually going to uh, just furnish the whole house now I actually did not furnish all of the rooms just because it was such a massive house um, but I can tell you there is a spare room at the uh, second floor and there is a um, there is a lot of free space upstairs as well to do with whatever you want so keep that in mind otherwise the whole downstairs is furnished and uh, there is two furnished bedrooms in this house there's two uh, toilets one of them has a bathtub and there is a very large kitchen there is a little study area uh, and there's a dining room and two living rooms so really really there's a lot of stuff in uh, in this build and in in I, I furnished uh, as much as I uh, really felt like doing um, and I really do feel like it, it is enough because I do know that you guys also like to have the option to furnish some of the things yourself because maybe some of the things I chose to furnish is not actually what you would have preferred to be furnished so a lot of options to you guys but yeah anyways just pull choosing some uh, some wallpapers here now I decided to go for this uh, orange wallpaper in uh, a big part of the rooms in here in the dining room slash living rooms I chose another wallpaper um, but all of the wallpaper kind of have the same thing in common they're, they're kind of like this paneling wallpaper um, or they are this wallpaper with like these uh, really thick panelings be in the top and in the bottom of the wallpaper. I thought it was a really really cool idea and, and just you know that it just fits to the overall um, theme and look of the house, uh, the Tudor house. So I thought that was a really really cool idea. Uh, upstairs here as I just told you some rooms I did not furnish. There's actually two bathrooms I did not furnish. Now you could actually turn that into one room um, if you wanted to have even more space, even more bedrooms or whatever other room you wanted to do. But again there is three rooms up there and two bathrooms that I did not furnish. I only furnished two of the rooms. But downstairs here in the dining room uh, I really wanted to keep this classic and in the style of Tudor um, and I actually looked at a lot of pictures online to kind of find out what the style of Tudor is and it's kind of like you know this very old style um, very classic style and that is uh, fortunate really really lucky for me because The Sims 4 has a lot of um, old styled uh, furniture and stuff like that so that was really really cool now these two new big paintings from the get together expansion I freaking love those I thought they looked really really cool and they just fit in with what I wanted to do and um, the whole you know the whole style of the house um, but yeah again you, you're gonna see a lot of just like little clutter items and stuff like that and a lot of things on the wall uh, you know paintings and stuff like that um, and yeah here we have the one bathroom, the only bathroom in the house that I furnished. Now, as I said before, you could do... I kind of made two rooms upstairs to be bathrooms. I just didn't furnish them. Um, but if you wanted to do that, you could totally do that or turn it into another room. But this is the only bathroom in the house. And here we have another little toilet room. Um, I didn't want this to be a fully fledged bathroom just because it was right right next to the kitchen and right next to the uh, living room and I didn't think that was such a good idea. Um, in here we have the little study area which is also 
a little painter's area, like a little artsy um, nook in the kind of tower here. And I thought that was a cool idea too, to kind of combine those two. Um, maybe the husband can sit and work while the wife is painting or something like that. Um, but yeah, again, just kind of a lot of old looking stuff in here, a lot of old looking furniture. And uh, going into the kitchen here, a really, really big kitchen. I mean, it's not something special, this kitchen. Um, it is like really simple, um, but I chose to have modern appliances in here just because I thought, you know what, some modern things in here cannot hurt and the counters and uh, cabinets actually look somewhat older than they are. So I thought it was like a good balance between those two and we're going to have like a little um, eating nook in the uh, little corner here where I kind of put in a little dining table so your sim can kind of sit there and eat instead of having to go all the way to the dining room. But um, the dining room is there and it kind of fits in that it should be there. And uh, then I decided to do like a little living room area here with, you know, in front of the fireplace. I thought that was a really, really cool idea. Um, and also something I saw a lot. And it's it's just kind of like this really, really classic thing to do. Um, in these old style houses. Um, and then I decided to have something on the uh, outside here. I just saw some cool items uh, and I kind of put them all around the outside and there will be screenshots in the end so you can see that. Um, and then of course just a big painting over the uh, fireplace and we have moved into the other living room. Now this is the living room room with a bit more of a modern touch um again just to balance out the the whole style because for me it can get a bit too old looking um at times and i thought you know what if i just kind of balance it out um and as you saw i kind of chose those two chair egg, egg shaped shaped chairs um and kind of complemented them with a old looking uh cabinet or whatever you call it like a little side table um, and I thought that was a cool idea but this is uh, one of the big um, big uh, missing a word big bedrooms upstairs now I did this really cool thing with the mirrors here to kind of create like this really big mirror that is kind of rounded off I thought that was a cool idea and I used the walk-in closet here I also really love those uh, definitely going to use those some more in future builds. Now, I tried to have the two walk-in closets actually sit on top of each other, but I couldn't do that. They, She could only use one of them. So I decided to just uh, build, you know, another wall and kind of put it in. And the other room as well. Uh, this is the last uh, bedroom in this build uh, but as I said before plenty of room up here for you to definitely expand with more rooms if you want to do that uh, there is a spare room there is room for two more um, bathrooms if you want to do that so you can definitely do that with what you want um, and just looking around here to see if everything is all right Here we have the kind of uh, um, office area. I think this is really cool. The entrance kind of looking into the dining room and living room here. Also, I li really like the complements between the wallpaper and the kind of old looking uh, walls. I think that's really cool. The more modern living room, uh, the little toilet uh, beside of the... Um, kitchen which which we have here looking really cool as well again uh, a bit more modern touch in here but still keeping the old vibe of everything the only bathroom in the house that i did uh, again you can just totally do your own stuff uh, the smallest of the bedroom and the biggest of the bedrooms totally love how this looks really really awesome and here we have the last shots of the house. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. 
um, nothing else to say. I'm Aubrey and have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world.